Okay. Thank you. Get your first name. Where uh, are you headed? Sorry. Where are you going? I'm just going to be doing some business. I, I, I'll I'll reserve my right to to no, my Fifth Amendment but, right. But I gotta put something down. We have a sign-in policy. Yeah, I mean I appreciate it, um, but I don't give my name unless I've committed a crime. So no. I appreciate it. Thank you. The building is not open to the public. It's not. The town hall's not open. We have to go to the town administrator. The, okay, now you gotta give me your name. Cause I gotta call no, I don't. I'm not going to give you my name to go to a public building. Well, let me call up there and tell them you're here. That's, I got rules to do. Too, but, you know? but we don't live in like Nazi Germany. You know what I mean? Like we can't, we can't shut down a town hall to members of the public that are looking to exercise their First Amendment right inside of it. I mean, that's, that's wildly inappropriate. And as you offer public services beyond this door, right? This is a public building. You can't transfer, you can't convert a public forum into a non-public forum, but still allow members of the public into it and try and consider it limited public still. You can't do that. It's a, it's a, it's a government building. What's going on guys? We're at the Vernon Town Hall. Vernon, Connecticut serves Rockville as well. Today I'm with MAA Audit. My brother from another mother, his link's in the description. Check him out, tell him I sent you. Oh, look at the vault alarm, it's an old bank. Look at that. Look at that. Old World War II era buildings. This guy got a ticket, that sucks. Collecting money, harassing and collecting, not serving and protecting. I don't serve and protect anything anyways. Camera. Yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? Look at all the stuff you got over here. It's very celebrated. I like it. Yeah. Are you together? Yeah, together but separate. Okay. So well, thank I gotta get your first name. Uh, Where are you headed? Sorry? Where are you going? I'm just gonna be doing some business. I I will I'll reserve my right to to no, my fifth amendment but, right. But I gotta put something down. We have a sign in policy. Yeah, I mean I appreciate it. Um but I don't give my name unless I've committed a crime. So no. I appreciate it. Thank you. And what's the other gentleman's name? The same. Thank Jim Doe. All right. We're twins. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm trying to understand the layout of this big old building. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, so, so past the... What is, the, is there, there's a courthouse in here, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, and that's past that. Okay, so where's the rest of town hall? Right here. So here's the town clerk's office. If you go through that door, there is a social services uh, department, um, and then the uh, council chamber and administration is on the third floor. That's what I was going to ask you where the town administration was. Okay, it's a very like strange layout, but also like very fun. It, uh, it sure is. It, you know what it reminds me of? An airport. A little bit. Like, you walk in, and, and then, you know, she's TSA out there. But nicest TSA I've seen yet. But so, <laughs> All right, so third floor, you said? Yes. Okay, and, um, all right, and that's uh, the town manager. Is that what it is? Okay. Thanks very much, ladies. Have a good day. Very nice. Oh, excuse me. The town hall's not open. We have to go to the town administrator. Yeah, okay, now you gotta give me your name because I gotta call. No, I don't. 
I'm not going to give you my name to go to a public building. Well, let me call up there and tell them you're here. That's, I've got rules to do. Too, but, you know? but we don't live in, like, Nazi Germany. You know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't have to... Well, you can argue with them. I'm doing my job when I'm told. Yeah, it's, they're, they're giving you wrong information. You don't have to violate your Fifth Amendment right well, to gain I'm access sorry, to a public I'm building. Doing what I'm told. I work here. Yeah, yeah. I, I have two gentlemen here that want to go to the administrator's office. They are not giving me their names, and they said they're not going to. I don't know if you want to send Dave down or somebody to talk to them. I, I can't get anywhere with them. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Is this... no, I, 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 you have no appointment, right? No action. It's town a it, it's hall. a town hall. Where do you go to pay a bill? This is the town hall. Where do you go to pay a bill? Right? Town hall. It's bill? public access. Listen, I need to speak to the town administrator. I need to go to the bill office. I, I, I'm doing the bill. What's happening right now? I don't understand. Yes, please, please, I, please. I, I don't get it. She's she's old, so I'm being really nice just because she's old. What, 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 I'm, I'm, she's well, old. Sad. She's old, so I'm being very nice. I'm sorry. I, yes. the, she, she's older, so I'm trying she's to be very, very, very nice. Uh, I'm yeah. being told that this is a private building, and it's it's not a, a public building, and we cannot go to any of the government offices. Yes, yeah, so I can call the administration. Okay. They can come down to okay. you if you want. That yeah, that'd be. Right, I feel like she she's just losing it a little bit, yes, so I figured that, I'd just that's okay. um, thank you. Uh, my name is Good Citizen. Good Citizen. Okay. Yeah. Thank so, you. Uh, let me, let me yeah, thanks. What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, this is, the, this is the border to another country. <laughs> Can I help you? Are you from the administrative offices? Yes. Hey, nice to meet you. Um, what's your name? What can I help you with, sir? Well, that's where I'm starting with what your name might be. So I can figure out who I'm speaking to, so I can tell you what I need. Nicole. Nicole, nice to meet you. Um, so trying to get to the administrative offices and then also um, tax collector's offices. I'm being told that it's not a public building. This is a public building. Oh, okay, cool. The tax right. collector's office is not in this building. It's next door. It is next door. Okay, that answers question number one, no problem. Town administrator's office, is that the third floor in this building? It is. Do you have an appointment? Um, no, I'd just like to take a look at the office. Take a look at the office? What is it right. that you're looking to take a look at? I'm taking a look at the infra infrastructure, right? So, like, I, I, I think I understand what you're trying to do here. Like, you're trying to, like, designate this, like, a limited public forum. But you have people from the public using that oh, area, so accessing that area. Oh, that removes... Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, she's Nicole is helping us. Thank oh, you yeah, very much. Just, uh, so we can't we can't shut down a town hall to members of the public that are looking to exercise their First Amendment right inside of it. I mean that's that's wildly inappropriate. I understand that this house is a courthouse, so obviously we're not looking to go on that floor in those rooms, but there's absolutely nothing prohibiting us legally and lawfully from entering here. So I guess like that was why I was surprised that some of these conversations even existed. We met her. We we're very nice to her. We're just Trying to take a look at the building. We're working on the story. So, if, and you're with? I'm with him. Again, so you asked what my name was. Yeah, you asked me who I'm with. I just told you I was with him, so you knew okay, we were together. Okay, and, and your name is? Good Citizen. And I'm a private journalist working on content for a story. Your name is a, Good Citizen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And I'm working on a story here in Town Hall, right? So if this was employee access only and no one from the public was ever allowed beyond here and all the services were located in this public area, yeah, your council will tell you you have every right to demarcate that as such and not let anyone in. The problem is you offer public services beyond this door, right? This is a public building. You can't transfer, you can't convert a public forum into a non-public forum, but still allow members of the public into it and try and consider it limited public still. You can't do that. It's a, it's a, it's a government building, right? We respect the court, we're not here to even speak to anybody. We're just here to get our pictures and leave. We were very nice in this office. We gave her no problems. We went in, said hi, and we left. And now we're here. And we've probably gone from this building. We just want to take some pictures of the beautiful building. So that's, that's why we're here. Okay. So we do have meetings that are conducted, not with the public, upstairs. So you currently don't have an appointment. Do you ever let the public into this building? Behind these doors? 
Yes, we do. Okay, so then it's not a limited public forum. Like, and the Supreme Court has upheld that also. Hey, how are you? How are you? Not too bad. Hey. Hey, Trudy. Got a call that you guys were on. Police, security. Some? Town administrator. Town administrator. Nice, nice to meet you, Mike. My hand's a little sweaty from holding That's this. okay. Pleasure to meet you, What's Mike. What's your name? Josh. Josh, nice to meet you, too. Good I citizen. Like too, Mike. I have a couple right. different names. Randy, right. Randy, nice to meet you, too. Um, what can I do for you guys? Listen, so we're just Thanks, coming in and take a look around. I, I understand that she's got policy. She like names. Right. She's very nice trying to do the best that she can. Right. We're not going in any courtrooms. We're not imposing. We're not going in into any employee-only restricted access points. We're just looking to access a building. I think that I understand that her point is that this could be considered non-public, right? Problem is we can't consider it, consider it non-public, limited public, because it's not demarcated employees only. You invite members of the public, even with appointment, into that area. So it's not a limited public forum. It's a public forum. All we're looking to do is, I understand there's a probate court, so we have no, no business there. We just like to go up and down the stairs, take pictures of what's here in public, and then be on our way. We're, we're, do you guys have an appointment with anybody here? No, no. We just came into it. We're I'm a private journalist, gathering content for a story, well, looking at infrastructure of some of the old buildings in Vermont. Really? That's pretty cool. So where, where do you guys want to go? So we would just like to take a look at anything that is open to the public. This building is absolutely gorgeous. It right? is gorgeous. Come um, on, you guys want to take a walk? I would love that. Thank we'll you very later. much. I appreciate but it. I'm going to stay with you guys if you don't mind because there's that, some offices. That's that you, fine. You might not know that there's some offices. It's great for you to be with us because then we'll yeah. know. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate and, it. And then we'll show you like kind of kind of it's beautiful architecture. I mean, that's yeah, why we that's why we wanted to we wanted to see. Yeah. I, I'm kind of a geek for like old architecture yeah. and infrastructure. I saw the vault sign on the building yeah. next door. Yep. So got a nice picture of that. Cool. Um, we're not here to give you a hard time. Yeah, I think no. that you're you're very nice. You're doing your job. This very young lady is doing her job. We all have a job to do. And I think that instead of like... Tree, tree's the best. If she you is. Wanna, if you guys want to do a story, you should do a story on a tree. She, you know what? No, no. no I'm going to be honest with you. TSA. Tree. She should work for... T- <laughs> I, got, I, got a, I got a buddy. And he <laughs> runs... He Trudy, runs... Trudy, I'm telling you, Trudy, there might be another career room for you over there. You know? I'm up here down with 10 of us. Yeah. So when I'm told to do what I do... And they know I'm here 30-some years. So. Yeah. Listen, you, you gave me the business. I walked away from you. You know why? Because I know that you could... First of all, I know you kick my butt. Secondly, <laughs> my, my buddy runs TSA at Logan Airport, okay? Yeah, yeah, and funny. I will argue my way. Like, there's certain things I'll give TSA. There's certain things I won't. I know what my rights are. And I just... Not to be an agitator. I just... They're my rights. A lot of good people fought and died for them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flex them. They're, if she was working TSA... Full compliance. No one's messing with Trudy. I, I don't love the fact that they that they request ID yeah. to go through. Um, I feel like at, at some point we're in a public building, so to, if the only way to gain access is to give up your Fifth Amendment right uh, to be secure in your yeah. person's papers and effects, like actually the fifth, Fourth Amendment right, then that I don't I don't love that. I, obviously, right. you're demarcating this as like kind of appointment only. So I guess the only way to know who's there for an appointment is that they sign in. Um, right. but well, we, let's take a quick that'd be great run to a meeting and, and oh perfect I don't want to take you away from that God forbid that there was an emergency and evacuation yeah. Yeah. like yeah, that's, we that's also amazing. need to know making sure that everyone that is in the building is actually evacuated the building as exactly. a safety precaution you know, that's, you know that's the basics, but I wanted to tell you yes ma'am coming from 10 children yeah. my mother told me how to do it and when I go to work and the boss tells me you do this, you do this, I do it. And I'm sure your boss tells you what you can do and what you can't do. Let me tell you something, Trudy. My boss, my boss is a real jerk. I'm self-employed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you work for somebody, you go by the rules. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So, come on in. Let me show you around the building. Did you serve? Huh? Did you serve in the military? I, uh, I've been a first responder for many years, and I did some work for, for the federal government. For first responder years. police? Uh, fire. Fire, Emergency okay. Emergency management, Homeland Security. Good. Homeland Security, huh? Yes, so why aren't you in the private sector raking in a paycheck, man? Because <laughs> I enjoy <laughs> serving. Oh. An elected official as well, and someone who believes in open government and transparency. I'm running for a select board in my town also, and I Which believe uh, Townsend, Massachusetts. Good for you. Good for you. So it's our finance department. Okay. Um, I would say one of the most, and, and, and I think if there's any way you can cover this in your story in any way, shape, or form, is we have a premier uh, museum here. 
and it, it really doesn't get a lot of attention because I, I, I was listening to you talk about it and even ask about the museum. Like, this to me didn't even when down there. I didn't even notice that's it. What I'm it saying, wasn't right? until Civil War Museum, New England Civil War Museum. So it's it's in my opinion, it has a, 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 one of the best, if not the best, Civil War collections. If you're if you're a geek like I am, you want, you have a day free. Take a trip to Lancaster, Massachusetts. Go to the library and ask to see the Revolutionary Museum. Okay. They have hand me downs from the town, muskets like, and they let you hold them from say phenomenal. Here. Same here. I love to see it. Listen, same here. And uh, when I was down in um, where was I at the uh, Army War College, I, I did a lecture there for a week. Yeah. Um, I took a tour of the battlefield and uh, did a, and did a, it hits you, doesn't it? Yeah, but they actually have it down to like so and so fired their musket from this Here. direction, and you can see the the mark in the tree, oh, that's you know, cool. and, the, and the and the and the musket ball is still in the mm -hmm. tree. I mean, they have it down to that level of detail. So if you're it's wonderful you know, when history, you when you like see. I mean, you, you, you can tell. I mean, I got Paul Revere in my eye. I just I saw that. I think it's so just I said, these guys are right, you know? I I love this is the premiere yeah. of what you it's can It's all do. locked up for now because it's a private group that, that runs the museum. Yeah. But you can kind of get is this, um, I was going to say, the department, what is this, local auxiliary? So, uh, let's see, what the, that's uh, the, the, the commander of the museum. Oh, the museum, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, it'd be hard to just give access to the museum, but I can tell you, have you ever wanted to do like a fundraiser for the town, booster club, whatever you're doing? and sell tickets to the museum, the money goes to the kids, the booster club, you know, I'll, I'll give you my email, you let me okay. know. Okay. I think that this type of stuff, preserving our history. Got it, got to do it. Gotta absolutely, do it. it's our heritage. Yeah, I want to get more of this, and try to get some more students in here too, and younger folks, because, you know. Kids are so busy on their phone. I mean, yeah. I see something well, like this. That's why we do stuff like this, you know what I mean, where you try to try to get the kids to be more interactive, do a yeah. QR code, do some, put some freaking glasses on. Yeah. yeah, you know, because that's what they're used to, you know what I mean? Yeah. When I was a kid, I loved to go to the museum. We used to go to all the science museums and everything. It's like, so elevator here, we'll take the stairs. I'm just like, take the Perfect. Time, bro. Oh, well, this rug is chilly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Old brick we building. We the stairwells. We don't want to spend tax money on that. So, so the, the third floor, I think you're going to find absolutely gorgeous. Um, we got a grant years ago. Okay. I want to say it's been over 10 years, well over 10 years, actually. Thank you. Um, and we redid our council chambers. So this is where we have all our public meetings. Absolutely okay. beautiful. Thank Used to you. Be in the building next door that's uh, under some renovations. This way here? Yeah, yeah, take a right. This is where my office is as well. Oh man, you're hidden from the rest of the world? No, not at all. You should not be. Get some... <laughs> Just I would ask, don't don't tape anyone's computer screen. No, of course, yeah. Because this is our HR department too. So don't want to Where's your picture? You get your picture up here? No, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, a public servant. These are we our getting a picture? officials. So. But uh, we're on the website. Come on in. We'll show you the council chambers. Oh, yeah. You know someone's a geek when they're excited to look at the ceiling. I'm about to show you this, you know what I mean? It's absolutely beautiful. You said they built it 10 years ago? No, no, I mean, it's over 10 years. Oh, okay. They, get, they ended up getting grants and stuff like that. Good, good, good. Yeah. Historic grants, preservation grants. There's a there's actually a flag at the town hall, I was, uh, the library I was telling you about in Lancaster, and they, it was great to see a flag, hand-stitched, 13, right? And it had um, some burn fringing and obviously some blood on it. And you think like, the, like when people think of the military, they think about the folks that are serving right now. Yeah. They forget the kids, like when you look at the town hall and it says, you know, wall people who passed, there's a fifer. Like a 13 year old kid playing a fifer, carrying a flag, dying for their country. Like yeah. there's stuff people need to see and they're, they're so quick to just watch something that's tell, tell the story. not relevant. That's fine, man. Tell the story. Do, 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 do what you're doing, tell the story. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no I really do appreciate it. Well, that's your office yeah, over there? Yeah, these are our main uh, administrative offices. Staff. It's my office and Mary's office and the uh, HR uh, assistant kind of administrator. Does he have a bigger office than you? Oh, yeah. yeah well, we got to cut him in half. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Equal pay and measure. No, no, that's right. He's a mayor. What a nice 
Yeah, and so, so you have a town, which is, I find this interesting. In Massachusetts, the way it goes is like a city will have a mayor, yeah. a town will have a select board, depends. and then a town administrator. It depends on the size of the town, typically. So, okay. So we have t- many towns in Connecticut. So you guys are from Massachusetts. Both yeah, so you do Rockville also, right? Yeah, it's, okay. it's a, like a, a, a part of it, but... Um, we're, we have counties, but we're not a county-based system either. You know what I mean? So the, literally there's 169, this is the exact number, 169 municipalities, each governed separately, not under any county government Really? Structure. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. So is, is that throughout the whole entirety of Connecticut? Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's 169. I've been here so many times, I've never even known that. Yes. Yeah, everyone that's has their own charter. That's extremely interesting. Yes. Very much so. Like in a, it, when I used to travel a lot for work and stuff, I mean, you go to other other states, they're all county based, you know, and so there's a of county course. government. Right. They, and there's, they're all yeah. falling under one right. specific, yes. you know, way of so one how set would of you, rules, right? So yeah. to your to your point, Josh, like you, you can have like Vernon, we're the town of Vernon. We have a, a strong mayor form of government according to our charter. You go to Beautiful Ellington work. right next door. It's Just went to Ellington, selected. yeah. Board of Finance, you know, stuff like that. And that's where I was. What's how it should be. Years. Oh, for well, uh, in Ellington, we just left there. Yeah. Um, it, it should be. It should, so how would it work? Like, so you, if this building represents Vernon, also represents the interests of Rockville, yes. right? So how does, so someone would come to a select board meeting from Rockville one, here in one Vernon? Vernon? One Vernon. That's it. Rockville is just a name of, a, of the downtown area. It's I not, understand. Separate, okay. But, but years ago, okay. it used to be separate until it was all merged into one. Yeah. So Understood. Okay, burden. that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. How many residents do you have here? About 30,000. That's a lot of people. Yeah, $100 million a year operating budget, town and board of ed together. And how many times a week do you, like, geek out and stare at the woodwork in his <laughs> office? <laughs> only, only when I noticed that some of the water is, like, leaking through. Oh, <laughs> you no. Know I mean? Well, that's the problem with the older building. So of course. If, 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 of if, course. I, if, if our insurance would allow me to take you up, there's actually... Um, a ladder that goes up into the attic. So if you look from the outside of the building, you'll see the steeple. Oh right yeah, in, right in the front there. Right. Where, where this is right above where the mayor's office is there. Yeah. There's actually an original wooden ladder that we kept in there that goes to the tippy top of the uh, of the. When, when, when was this building built? Diane, when was this building built? 18, 1889. 1889. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's just cool. so cool. It I mean. Is. I like to go to downtown Boston, Salem, and there's one in Wakefield, like a house that was built in, you know, 1590. And just, it's not even about, like, obviously the architecture, it's it's real. You can feel who live there. But also it's interesting to see, like, like how small the buildings are. Like, all of this stuff interests me. But it's like, imagine the history oh, yeah. that happened there. And yeah. to me, that's what it's it's all about. Like, you, people are so willing to just run towards the present, and they forget where they came from. And, yeah. And that's why, no, that's why that's I like true. to do stuff like this and to meet folks like you. Yeah, no, no problem. You know, I'm, I'm proud of Vernon, so any, any opportunity we can't to... Uh, I didn't want to sound rude downstairs. I wasn't no, yelling at them. I was just no. trying to be like, just, you know, listen, it's a public building and... Interesting times we live in. You know, everybody's concerned about safety. Safety is our number one priority. Public health and safety is always our priority. Well, you know, so. I appreciate it. I know you're busy. Here, I'll take it on the background. Uh, yeah, so I'll let you get back to... Yeah, you got to have Trudy working like Homeland Security. That's a real lot. We, we actually say that too. She's tough. The, the mayor of, they don't make that. They don't of make Summers, that he's, a, he, he's in SEAL teams. Oh, yeah. We met him and he was in, he was in SEAL Team 5. Wait, Summers, Connecticut? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Totally, 100% Wait, what are we talking about? The first no, selectman. First one. First selectman. Ken, of, is his name Ken? No. no um, Jim? Him. Yeah. yeah. He, he really no, no, no. Let me show you. I'll show you. Um, so the reason I bring it up is because someone was like, "Oh, good thing you didn't go in that office." And I was like, "Listen, I would, I would have got my ass kicked by a man in a bow tie, yeah, rightfully so. so." But Trudy, yeah, yeah. damn Navy Seal, and like for me, like I'm a constitutionalist. I'm all for people's rights. And like when yeah, someone tells me I have to give ID, I have, to, and I'm like, and I'm sitting there, and I had to walk away because I was, like, I was thinking like. I said, this is Nazi Germany. Like, I don't have to give you my... And then I said, you know what? I walked into the other room and I was like, she's getting a little upset, so is there someone I could speak to? Because, yeah, 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 But yeah. she's she's the boss of this place. Don't let yeah, the mayor get it no, twisted. No, Trudy no. is the boss here. Trudy, you want to keep this going. So, 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 the other thing I'll tell you, Matt, if you're doing buildings, that's great. This is probably the most historic. That's the most historic. But I mean, if you're doing anything on the board, we've got 40 miles of, of 
pristine rails to trails and a lot of not a lot of people you know beautiful uh, so it's, i got it's two uh, german shepherds and we like to go dog, out and find their stuff we got a beautiful dog park down the street beautiful you know? A lot of open space that we try to preserve and a lot of good parks and stuff so wonderful anything you guys need let me know i really appreciate it wonderful story, send me the link so i can you know maybe I'll, I'll i'll attach it to our website so we can help absolutely listen to play and do some promotion i know that a lot of people are going to say and, and for me i used to run big restaurants right and for me i would say when something happens it's never about the fumble it's always about the recovery right yeah. so even even that first encounter, that doesn't even set the tone. You know what I mean? Like this is what Trudy's sets the tone. Trudy, Trudy's I know. I know. She, you know I know. We we. She means well. She, you know, not everyone that comes here is always happy, and whether they don't want to pay taxes, right? Or they've got a problem. Well, good. I got it. I don't want to pay taxes either. Hey, listen, join the club, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I live in Massachusetts. I don't have an option but to be raked over the coals. Too hey, how are you? That's too far. Well, hey, listen, thanks again. No Appreciate Josh, your time and your professionalism. Do you have my, uh, well, my I, do, I was going to ask you, you have a card on you? Can, can I text you or something? Yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah, no, I bring your card. Yeah. I'm trying to get as many people to the Civil War Museum as possible. The Absolutely. The more visitors we get, maybe get some grant money. I want to keep bolstering. I don't want to lose it. Well, I mean? Nor should you. I think, that, I think access is going to be a problem because obviously... Well, Social you know, Security you, Office... Well, no, you know what we do not to do, it, but when we actually have scheduled museum events... You know, they'll be here. There's always somebody from the museum. We'll keep the door open. All the offices are Logistically, locked. Logistically, how would yeah. like a night tour work? Like That's what after, we do. Okay, 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 we do. okay. We make sure all the doors are locked so there's no information that could get out inadvertently, you know, and, and then the museum is here and the staff is here and then we, you know, people go up right up to the museum. Push right. for it, man. That's push what we're doing. For it. I say push for it. Keep, that's what I keep doing. Someone's yeah. only going to tell you no, but something like that, like I'm, I'm going to yeah. tell you, I have 150,000 followers and that's they're all going to see that museum yeah. and they're going to call Thank and they're going to be like, hey, listen, click the link if you don't mind. They can absolutely. Get their website and stuff. So, dude, I yeah, appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. My pleasure, man. I appreciate, appreciate your professionalism. Keep, Thank keep you. Going. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Bye, Trudy. Have a good day. Thanks again for your help. So, I, I got to run. I, well, Trudy was going to almost kick my butt. I was like, I, I, like you know, She's like, tough. She is. And it's like, she's an older lady, and like, I was raised right. And I'm like, I know that like she's wrong, and but I didn't. Like really have the heart to be like, listen. Yeah. And secondly, I was genuinely afraid. I just met the first selectman in Summers. He was a Navy SEAL, and she's more intimidating than he is. He, she reminds me of my friend. He does secure, He does TSA at Logan Airport, and I would. I don't think I'd. She's. I'm. I'm all set. No problems. And good for her. Good for her to be. Good. Good for her. Good for her. I appreciate it. To be her age. I hope it, I hope to make yeah. it there, you know. Trust me, this this thirty year olds wouldn't open their mouth. They'd open their mouth the first time, never the second time. Not with Trudy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you ladies have a, a good rest of your new year. Okay, well. take care. Well. Thank you. Very nice. Bye, Trudy. You too. Yes, ma'am. My mother taught me well. Oh, she'd love to hear that. She might not agree with you. Take care. <laughs> See now, now folks, she is she's got to be in her early nineties. Hundred percent, she's got to be in her early. 90s. Easy, right? Right, Randy. Really? So here, here's where I think that speaking and and discord. Right, here's where I think speaking and discord makes sense, right? Like, is it lawful for her to demand my identification to go into a public building? No. Is it lawful? And the other lady that she came downstairs, she had a little bit of an attitude. She knew we were First Amendment auditors, and she didn't want to let us in either, right? But she didn't know. She's doing what she was told. We were able to have a discussion, right? We were able to get what we needed. We were able to take pictures of the places that we wanted to take pictures of. And we left with her understanding what our rights are. That's the whole point of this, right? Like if they just acted like that and there was no professionalism, there was no recovery and they just treated us like that, yes, we have Different a problem. Story, yes. But it's very clear that there was miscommunication internally and they wanted to fix it and they wanted to show off their town. Yeah. Right? That guy's very proud of his, his town. Yeah. So, I mean, every, every place has got a Trudy, I would imagine. And... God bless the people that get on Trudy's bad side. She's, she's one tough cookie. I love it. We'll catch you on the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today. Accountability. <laughs>
Oh, what's up, man? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chris. I follow you. Do you? Yes. Why, thanks. I appreciate yeah, it, Yeah, what are you doing here? Town Hall. Excellent. How'd they treat me? Uh, at first, they told us we needed ID, and we couldn't go look around the building. They recovered very nicely. Yes. Trudy, uh, she's a tough cookie. Oh, she's been but, here forever. <laughs> yeah. But she wasn't a tough cookie, if it makes sense, Chris, in the bad way. She didn't know she was doing what she was told, and as soon as we were let up, she, she was fine. Trudy, she's awesome. Very, very proud of what we saw in there. Check out the uh, police uh, department. You should check them out. I should check them out. All right. You know where they are? I got the GPS. I'm going to head over. Yeah, there. go head over there. Appreciate it, man. All Thanks right. very much. Thank you. Have very a good much. day. My pleasure. Keep doing man. what you're doing, Josh. I appreciate I you. Love you man. Thank you. We love you too, bro.